keynotes, my plenary sessions, uh, today, this morning, and um, this uh, Friday afternoon at the end are going to book, um, bookend each other, kind of bookend the conference. Because this morning I'm going to talk about how perpetrator pattern-based approach can help move systems away from failure to protect as a paradigm for approaching these cases and really shift practice that's in the interest of children. And this morning I'm going to talk about the perpetrator pattern part of it. And on Friday afternoon I'm going to talk about the gender responsiveness, gender double standard issue. That these two issues really we think are more and more underlying sort of where systems uh, need to look at and shift and make some changes. And so we're hoping that out of the whole symposium that you'll pick up new information, you'll learn from each other, and you'll take away things that you can use practically in your work. I don't want to say today because I hope you're not getting on the computer to do casework or talk about families today or tomorrow or when you go back home next week. Um, to really sort of bring it and put it into practice right away. That's very important to me that it be practical and land in the, the work. Um, real briefly, um, I've been in the field of domestic violence since 1988 and came into the doorway working with perpetrators. And that work, even though it was focused on perpetrators, was always about the safety and well-being of women and kids. And part of what I always tell people about that story is 25 years ago, whatever that is, um, we did do a really good job looking at perpetrators as parents and, and holding them responsible as parents for what they were doing in families. And so that's really been a journey for me. I think it's been a journey for many of us to really absorb what it means to hold perpetrators accountable, not just criminally, not just look at their behavior as it relates to their partner, all those things you'll hear sort of what I'm talking about this morning about how we go beyond traditional concepts about our accountability and expand that, but really how to think about perpetrators as parents and how in doing that, that can shift our entire work with the family and really bring us into stronger partnerships with adult survivors and really help us be better focused on the, the safety, well-being, and permanency of, of kids.